Japanese robot Aibo's new friends are called Latte and Macaron. Latte is milky white and is docile, while Grey Macaron is feisty with a playful personality. The two succeed the runaway hit Aibo, which has found 100,000 homes since its launch. They are the latest in Sony's drive to be the first in what it envisions as a whole new market of entertainment, helper and companion robots. Like Aibo, Latte and Macaron respond to voice commands, although they have been upgraded to recognize around 75 common words and also remember the owner's name. They can also communicate directly with each other. In addition to regular dog tricks like shaking hands and rolling over, these canine robots can do the karate chop, hum songs and a whole new range of stunts. They will go on sale in the United States for about 850 US dollars each and in Europe slightly later for 980 euros. Can somebody straighten that picture on the wall? What do you call a dog with no legs? Nothing, because it won't come anyway. Excuse me. I think that for 980 euros, I'd want a bit more. Ouch, it's making my eyes water. And for those who seek a more human touch in their robot pals, Japanese scientists at a laboratory in the western city of Kyoto have invented a copycat robot. Dance or swing a tennis racket in front of the 1.9 metre, 80 kilogram humanoid robot called DB and it will follow suit. Viewing through its eyes or high sensitivity cameras, this humanoid gadget can analyze human movement using artificial intelligence and work out what it needs to do to perform the same movements. At a recent showing of the robot to local media, a member of the project group balanced a long stick on the palm of his hand in front of DB as the robot's eyes took in the move. When DB was given the stick, it did the same thing. Okay then, now let's see it juggle. <laughs> 